Welcome back to Game of the Goons and another episode of Rambling On. So today we've got an exciting topic for you, um, as you may have seen in the media, um, a number of leaks related to the gaming world. So today we'll be talking about gaming rumours, uh, leaks, and anything in that kind of ballpark. Um, we've got the whole squad here today. Hello. What's up, guys? Hey, guys. So, number one, PS Plus. They had um, some games that they were going to release, which was Di was it Dying Light and what was the other one? Dark Souls Rebirth. Dark Souls. Uh, yeah. Um, but unfortunately, that got changed up for Farming Simulator. And I think it was a game called Cities. Yes. Cities. Cities. Skyline. Which yeah, I've never heard of, to be honest. I'm not going to say what it is because it might it, it might just be it might not go very well if people listen to it but um in my opinion uh <laughs> what i would like to say was that i when i saw what was coming out i think when everyone saw what was coming out on ps4 uh the the previous ones what, the i leak? think everyone yeah with the leak i think everyone knew what our channel was gonna do what i think yeah. everyone that watch, watches our channel would know that we know that it's a four player game which we all can contribute to we was all going well me and Lee's already got the game but Wong and Grant doesn't so they would have downloaded it and would have made uh, quite a few videos on this game very very upset about that now well that's it because like Dying Light is so good because you could do it like online co-op and you can have like four people to a quest or something so that would have been amazing to do it would have been a good game to be honest mm -hmm. yes it would have been quite it would have been fun as well and, and even like because PS Plus have like been releasing generally this year they've been releasing like Triple A games, like proper yes, games. Yeah, the heavy. Yeah, I, I think Dying Light would be one of them. <laughs> so I think um, it's, it's a weird to sort of go. No, you're not getting that this month. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit weird. But but gotta say, still looking forward to Farming Simulator. Uh, what's is Farming Simulator like? Goat Simulator or, or am I? <laughs> no, it's literally like the simulator games, like. If you're doing boss simulator, you get on a bus and then you go on, you plan out your route and then you um, you actually drive a bus, take fares and everything like that. Same with like plane simulators or everything like that. You actually do everything. On a goat simulator, you just go around as a goat. As a goat. Well, to be, and they're doing, yeah, <laughs> flying jet bags, But like like farming simulator, you actually look after the farm. And so pretty much farming simulator is the real life of every farming cartoon game in a way. Uh, like, okay. So like, Stardew Valley, um, Harvest Moon, uh, Room Factory, you know, all of those ones. All of those have got farming essentials in it. Like, well, maybe not Room Factory, because Room Factory, you've got more killing and everything like that. But definitely uh, Harvest Moon, because you just go around. Um, you don't fall in love in this game, unlike Harvest Moon, but you just go around <laughs> buying tractors, um, <laughs> like bu buying proper stuff, like like how farmers <laughs> actually work and everything like that. Oh, well, so that's that, that's a game that I'll I'll probably play for a little bit. So I guess if you want to work from home, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Literally work from home. <laughs> literally, literally work from home. <laughs> You're missing work so much. Well, no, actually, farmers are in, so that is a lot. Yeah. Farmers yeah, are key workers. They are key workers, so they are keep. They are going to so keep. So if you want working. to experience <laughs> how well, how hard, how to become a farmer? Yeah, how hard it is to farm, <laughs> then you can try it. Yeah, actually, looking forward to that as well. <laughs> to be, because like, well, one of my friends he'd been playing it. Obviously, that the but that was like when this came out. He's like big fan to that, so he was playing on that. And then I saw that I was like, it's actually look pretty relaxing in some way. Because <laughs> like, it's not. That's... I think if you're by yourself, that is. I mean, if you're in a group like us. What farming like, simulate wouldn't yeah, be? Yeah, I mean, yeah. if all four of us are, uh, uh, helped each other on a farm, let's be honest, it's never ever gonna be. Can you? Can you even? I'm checking now. I'll check online. Now. Yeah, but the thing is, like, I guess for some people, like, obviously, you have to like that kind of simulator game to, you know, to enjoy that. Because, like, to uh, most people, they just find it boring. Especially like you know, you just like 
go to places to places and then pick up stuff and then like job up stuff and then do you know just like it's nothing like up and down it's just like always yeah, the, the kind of I, seems i mean yeah, yeah. like if you're into how would you say it like stuff like cod or like you know action type games yeah. this isn't a game for you like but if you're someone who's into like rpg or strategy and all of that kind of games this could be a very good game for you because like or just in general if you love simulator games it will yeah. be quite a good one for you um so you can actually play a multiplayer so this game you can have four people on your actual same farm it's like work as a team if you want or, you or is can... it online or is it just online online okay as far as i'm aware well, let's be honest. What's going to happen is that, like, we'll go to Lee's farm. Lee will be working on it. Wong will be running it. around doing whatever he wants. Uh, Grant will just like think what to do and everything. And then there's me who I'll just <laughs> crash, crash a trap. I'll just destroy, destroy everything. You just smash into <laughs> someone. <laughs> like you, you know how the, you know on um, uh, you know how they do the haze and everything like that, where they have another, they have a car following her while you use the combine harvester to um, do it. What's going to happen is just me doing combine harvester and just like drawing random pictures around. And then afterwards, tell Lee, Lee just came as aliens, run away. <laughs> <laughs> drawing. Drawing pictures of leaks on the <laughs> <laughs> in the crop farm. Yeah, cit cities is I'm, I might get shot for this as well, and I think this is what Salas was alluding to earlier. But I have a I have a feeling it's like um, I don't know if I should say it, but it's like a very Sim City like. Yeah, I, I tried to gameplay. avoid that. I tried to avoid that in case that people watch it and like. No, they're probably two like... different games, but I just wanted to give an idea of the, the type of game, <laughs> mm -hmm. like a city burning game, by the looks of it. So that's why I didn't say anything. I just let I, I thought oh, it's right, I'll just let, let someone else say it. <laughs> I let let me take the take the hit. <laughs> <laughs> so any other leaks that people have seen recently? I know there's another giant one going around. Which say there's a spoiler free. A massive one. I, I think, as you say, um, out of everyone's interest, I, I won't. Well, we won't go into spoilers here because I don't think it's right for, well, for, for the game and for the community as it were. Um, but you probably saw there's a massive leak of the Last of Us Two at the weekend. Um, yeah. A lot of things went up on Twitter and on YouTube. Yeah, and it's and it's confirmed because it was released by the developer, I think, as well. I think so, and it's, it, it I think it was a, a near. What, what's the word for it? Like a, a near complete copy of the game? Well, yeah, I think it was like, like a test. Te oh, sorry. Like a. Testing. Yeah, like a <laughs> test. A test. What? Do, uh, like a game test, sorry. Like a beta yeah. test. Yeah, beta test. test. Yeah. But yeah, apparently. Um, I, I think what's happened is a. Probably an issue at Naughty Dog in some way. And, and I think a lot of their employees are working at home at the moment. Yeah. So it probably just was this employee had such easy access to this massive data source yeah. and he had stuck in line. He, he apparently doesn't work there anymore so before all this happened he's already working for another company a oh, okay. developer which is a bit, little bit weird and that was kind of mm. before it happened yeah but what can you do like no one could go to his house like oh, I'm going to take this you know this game back no no, no. So it's like, like, yeah, that's exactly what, you do, what you do but I guess he breaches data law so even if he hasn't been paid yet so like the way games as far as my understanding I'm not in the gaming world but I think oh, yeah. I think so you, they only get paid I'm, when the game comes out but the thing is even if I'm Naughty Dog I definitely could shoot that guy yeah, sure, I mean, he must be in, it'd be in a lot of trouble, I think. Tons of trouble. Dumps yeah. lawsuits and NDAs all over the place there. Because imagine, like, now, so many people, let's say they seen it, seen the video and stuff, they would say, oh, I don't know, now, they, so they would not go buy it, or they wait until later on. So imagine how much money that yeah, they lost. They, they have a potential of losing a lot of money, especially if, like, uh, part of the story doesn't line up with how people want it, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then they might think, yeah, I don't need to watch it again. But then, but I also think there's a, a flip side of that coin as people go, well, I really like the gameplay and I'll still get it anyway. Like, like for 
Like, for instance, I'm still going to get Last of Us. I tried to avoid spoilers, but I've seen a couple. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think all of us will Just be getting Last of Us. Even if we're not... Even if... We're like, out of the four of us, I think you guys will know, out of the four of us, one of us will be streaming. We don't know who it is at the moment yet. But we're all still all going to get it. No, no, <laughs> yeah, no matter what, we're all going to do one episode. What different episode? <laughs> That'd be just, hard. Just see, just see, just see where everyone, we'll just see where they end, and then you're just like, oh no, I can't continue the game. I have to wait until after next next episode is me. I have to wait here. <laughs> Synchronous play. <laughs> that'd be too. That'd be near impossible. Actually, that might be a good idea. If we could do that. That is very hard, Wong. That's like, very hard. You know, to we it's just very hard. The things we can suit the whole thing. Like, you no, know, we just go continue playing. Obviously, we we record it. And then we just stop at, you know. Oh, I know, I know what you're saying. The, but yeah, no, we end you up know. with like the series won't be finished for about three years. But obviously, we <laughs> we won't know like when's like the stop or like when's the you know. Yeah, exactly. exactly. The, the break stuff. So it's tricky. I mean, it's possible, but it's tricky. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, as, I think as you said, it, it, it does really prove a massive company like Lost Dog is still susceptible to these sort of leaks because at the end of the day, The Last of Us was a, a tentpole game for but, summer. Yeah, Naughty Dog isn't a huge company, to be honest. Like, Naughty Dog yeah. tend to be quite, in terms of like gaming developers, they're fairly small because they don't like True. To, to be too big. And not like EA. EA games, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ubisoft, yeah. Ubisoft, Ubisoft, or oh. whatever. Even the even EA games like have different loads of different subsects. So you have like Ubisoft Montreal, Ubisoft in a different place, and <laughs> I guess it's similar for EA. Yeah, that's true. But that's a big leak, and then and yeah. it's, but it's got to the point now where I can't go and like I'm not even watching anything related to gaming. But I'm on like a like a music video or something on YouTube. Scroll down to the comments. Last of Us spoiler. <laughs> that's that. That's generally. So People I've, just I've, want to see the world burn. Well, yeah, yeah, but that's generally the only reason I got any Last of Us spoilers. I didn't even know it got leaked until until I saw it you on saw a YouTube the video on something that's entirely unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> and just like all capital letters, I'm like, uh, it's probably just a bit of spat. What Last of Us Two? Oh God damn it! <laughs> I was it's like, oh, they're probably lying anyway, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. And I heard about the leak. I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> my eyes, my, my eyes. I can't unforget what I've seen. <laughs> yeah, it comes to a dilemma though, doesn't it? Is to, I know Sony have done their best to try and you know stem the leak. I think they have. Achieve most of that. Yeah, but once it's out on the internet, so once it leaks out on the internet, it's always there. If that makes sense. It's always there. It's done. Yeah, it's too late. Um, it makes no you wonder how much you try to take it off the internet. Some source will be left on there, so it's forever stuck on there, isn't it? But yeah, yeah it'd be copied to copy. It's like um, uh, which was it? Resident Evil Four rumors or Eight rumors or both? Maybe. Mm -hmm. They've started so, resurfacing uh, as well. Re well, it's not. It's not that those are rumors. They they are actually on the way. Resident Evil Four is remake is a definite. Oh, it's been confirmed like, now. Or? Is, like Resident Evil Four and Resident Evil Eight has been confirmed, uh. but Resident Evil Four, from what has been said, is going to be released in twenty twenty two though. Ah, oh, that's so long. So so <laughs> well, I don't blame him for that because no, 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 Resident Evil right. Four was quite a long game. It yeah. just just by itself. So. Um, but Resident Evil 4 Remake has been confirmed. Okay, um, Resident Evil 8 has also been confirmed, but they haven't said what what the major topic, or like what it is mainly about and everything like that. The only leaks that were put out for the game was Resident Evil 8 has got... Um, first person. First person. And okay, so like seven. This, we don't know if it's true or not, it's yeah. been said, and that is that uh, Chris Redfield is actually the antagonist of this game series. Which, like I said, I don't know if it's true or not, because Resident, um, he's been in one to seven. He's been in films, and he's always been a good guy. You know, like we've all known Chris for for who he is, the rule we love. But you know, end of the day, telling him that he is the bad guy is a very questionable 
Yeah, it's a very it's a very huge twist to be honest, and yeah. and that but then because it's such a huge twist, I'm kind of like two but, minds whether that's real or not. But end of the day, I don't really, I don't really um, like I see why he would turn differently because number one, he's he's gone through all of this and everything like that, and number two, from what number six ended off in, like. He lost peers in uh, number six, yeah, yeah, yeah. which could turn him completely. Like that was, like he trained peers himself. He was ready to retire, like at the game. In the game, he said he was ready to retire and let peers take over as the t- team captain after this final mission. Then that happens, and then he appears in number seven, which we all know that um, in the game. Except for Lee, because Lee hasn't finished the game. <laughs> <laughs> See, Except for Lee, Lee never knew about it. He's got, he's got the game. He's got the game. He's had the game for like maybe two or three years now. He's just hasn't played it. No, I was about to play it. I've got two scare. That's why. Games on the Switch. I've been like, I've had like a Zelda for a. Oh, yeah, but you had your Switch. You had your Switch you got, like please. recently. No, I know. You had, you had <laughs> Resident Evil Seven two years ago. I tried to take Zelda first, and I still got to play scared, That's why you stopped playing. I do get scared. <laughs> it is a very scary game. When <laughs> you first play it, it is a very scary. scary. The first but, but with what happened in Res- uh, Resident Evil Seven, I'm not putting in a doubt that if Chris was to become the antagonist of the film, there would be either he's had enough and like things have gotten gone to him in his head, or it would happen what happened with Jill in Resident Evil 5. So I'll say Jill as well then. His mind got taken over. Yeah. But who I, would be I would have who would be the main it, but... character of 8 though? That's what I'm thinking. Because whenever I Chris... I feel like it's going to be a new... I feel like it's going to be a I think brand it's, new I think it's going to be a new character. But whenever Chris is involved, except for number 6, whenever Chris is involved with something, Claire also shows up. So oh, I reckon true. Claire might... might might show up something like that. Claire will be like maybe. his anchor to try and like persuade him she'll work with the main character. Apparently, so I'm just, just reading up on the leaks here that says it's also claimed that Ethan, so the character from Resident Evil 7, I know that, <laughs> <laughs> um, will suffer from hallucinations that the player will be unable to tell whether they're real or not, which will be interesting. Okay. So that's, that's very similar to Silent Hill PT's kind of kind of play style. So it's going yeah, to be- I mean... I mean that from... was that was such a shame. If Silent Hill had come, if Silent Hill PT had ever been released, I reckon it would be one of, if not the scariest game on VR of VR ever existed. Or, or anything, I reckon. Oh. And in terms of the story, supposedly Chris will appear in flashbacks involving Ethan and his family, where he seems to shoot his way into their house. Although whether this is a hallucination or some other kind of twist is unclear. But I bear in mind that this is a leak and rumours, so it doesn't necessarily mean it's true. So there's a chance that Ethan could be one of the main characters then? Uh, the Ethan way. is what, the main character according to the leak. What about, what about mm-hmm. Jake? Oh yeah, he's gone missing now. He's a mercenary, He'll ne- you'll never find him until they decide to pull him out of the dust and get, get him up again. He was, he was, overall, he, he was my well favourite character to I, use. I know he was well liked by Sados. But apparently, in the in the gaming community, he wasn't a well liked character. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no one liked him. Like the, his like, just because of how he is in general, and like some people just couldn't use Jake very well. Hence why they didn't like using it. But I mean, I whenever we played Resident Evil Six, whenever we do a Jake thing, me and Wong would always play as like, I would always play as Jake because I loved using Jake. And like and one would know. use Sherry. Well, I never used Jake before. So. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that, but you got you had no choice though, did you? Because you ha- you were teamed up with me, and I <laughs> I'm I'm I I'm, I'm, I would say I'm quite a very good Jake as well. Like because I managed yeah. to like because I've been playing Resident Evil Six again because I've been trying to get all the trophies, and um, I literally finished Jake's campaign. Okay, this isn't very good. Because I need done it on normal, but I finished the whole of Jake's campaign except for the bit where I'm on the motorbike. But I finished the whole campaign just using Jake's fist. Mm-hmm. I did. Okay. I, I did That's not like, use a gun. I did not use a gun at all. I just literally just punched everyone out of the way. I remember, like you literally like 
every ammo like you just like you do you don't pick up you just let me pick up uh, you can... i'm using the <laughs> gun. Hey, hey, well, you see, being jake is not a problem when you're playing it on that but when you're playing it on a little bit harder and you know you don't play as jake and you're playing as like chris or something else and um, your partner keeps shooting and doesn't run up to the person to punch, and you have to give all your ammo to them. You talking about me? I said a bit hard. <laughs> yes, Lee, I'm talking to you. I'm waiting until you say, "Yeah, are you talking about me?" I'm gonna do spray bullets, probably, but that, that was the, probably the hardest part because, like, Lee also had oh, his own chance. gun as well. You had your own gun. You had the anti-material rifle as well, and you still ran out of bullets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And there's That's me the going around 90% of the time having a, a knife in my hand just trying to swipe at people. <laughs> Can I just say that one of the favourite parts about the Resident Evil 6 playback is I think it's out on the channel actually it's um, Wong and Santos uh, th there's one bit they have to find this lever and the amount of times you're looking for this lever that you have to press <laughs> you're looking uh, yeah, for that five was... minutes. <laughs> um, yeah. and that, that... That was uh, funny. I had to cut a bit <laughs> out because it was you were searching for even longer than that. <laughs> it took so us like a long time to like ten minutes or something. It was like searching for like a good seven minutes for it. It's like right next to you the entire time. <laughs> oh, there it is. But oh, it's there. <laughs> no, but yeah, I just got to the point where when I was playing it, I think, um, I think because I started off the whole game as Jake's campaign because I wanted to start a new character. And then I slowly developed, like, like, as you can't just keep pressing R two as Jake. Like, there's different ways. Like, you have to like either tilt back an R two or forward an R two, and like it does a different move every single time. And then once you know, and once you know all those buttons off by heart, then you know which move to use against people who may be charging at you, people who might like shoot at you. Because Jake's got ability if he charges, is that like. If they keep on using the machine gun, you can, he can just zigzag left and right until they reach him. Okay. So that, and that's also why I use Jake as well, because he can dodge bullets like there's no tomorrow. Because obviously he is. I mean, I'm not. Gonna, I think most people know by now. Most he is. Can spoil it, it was his, cause yeah, because he is the son of he is the son of Wesker. <laughs> so he so he's got Wesker's DNA in him. So that's why he's able to do all the stuff that he can do right now. Ah, so. They reckon. So based on, I don't know. I don't know if Resident Evil Seven is Resident Evil Seven. Can I spoil Resident Evil Seven? <laughs> yeah, you can. Resident Evil Seven has yeah. been out yeah. for a long time. It's because... just that you haven't played it. No, that's I know. I know, but I know about the um, <laughs> Not a Hero campaign where it's Chris Redfield. Um, he's working for Umbrella, so they reckon at some point that's involved, and that's how he's turned, or he's turned and started to work for Umbrella. Well, at least what the rumours are saying. And also it might be co-op. Oh, okay. So it might be like another character like uh, Claire or something. Come here. Look, Claire Redfield. Mm. Yeah, Claire Redfield. Claire Redfield. Yeah. So she might be in as well, but that's a that's completely speculation. But just where is Chris? There's going to be Claire. It's, yeah, it's more likely. Or you play as Chris. Oh yeah, possible. That'd be interesting. Plays a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't realise it. Talking of other leaks, Cyberpunk got its rating um, of eighteen plus due to cruelty. Um, cruelty. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. So it, everything was sixteen plus. So like, there's a lot of like drug use. There's like nudity. There's mutilation stuff. And there's all like sixteen plus, sixteen plus, sixteen plus. And then cruelty was one of the one of the like criteria <clears throat> and they went 18 plus and gave it an 18 plus overall <laughs> so I said huh? oh, so there must be something in the game then that tips over that, well, that I threshold a bit of torch then or something like that but I could be yeah. I think oh okay what? but then uh, yeah yeah so features ranging from foul language blood mutilation uh Intense relations, suicide, and cruelty. Cruelty being the one it tipped over eighteen plus. Hmm. Um, I mean, understandable on that one. Like, I mean, no, that makes sense. But there, there is a lot of game which like are nudity and like there's like, like, but when it comes to cruelty, there's really only one thing I can think about when it comes to cruelty. 
at its torture. So yeah, torture yeah. will so probably we'll raise it plus. to raise it to eighteen, more even more eighteen. Should be twenty one. Oh yeah, so you get, they give a list like weapons about violence uh, available can for I, everyone. Can what I say something? Yeah, yeah. Because that remind me of Skyrim, and I'm just checked. Skyrim is seventeen above. Oh yeah, that's because they all the adventurers have taken arrows to knee. But you can torture <laughs> people. No, Lee, torture. just, just <laughs> no. You can torture people <laughs> in Skyrim. Lee, Lee I'm gonna the come. Meme. I want to come over your house and put an arrow to your knee if you keep talking about that. <laughs> Only if you do it from two meters away. <laughs> <laughs> My aiming is still very poor, so probably not then. <laughs> and with a bow and arrow, because I just want to see. <laughs> Shoot the next one or something. I'm surprised Skyrim got 17 plus. But you can torture people. Oh, can you? Oh, I haven't got. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I guess you couldn't. Yeah, but but like. There's also other factors that Cyberpunk probably has that um, uh, Skyrim doesn't have, which is like I don't know. Do you, know can you? Hack, I've got a list. Got a list. Ha- you, yeah, like hacking would be probably involved as one of them as well. Uh, well, it, it counts as like illegal activity, and it's like so. I've got the list here, and it's it's interesting because it's really weird. Like weapons without violence, everyone. Moderate hinted use of illicit drugs, everyone. Weapon of violence, ten plus, um, and then it basically uh, illicit drug consumption or trafficking, fourteen plus, um, ex- exploitation in all sort of ways, fourteen plus, uh, consume of illicit drug, sixteen plus, mutilation, sixteen plus, suicide, sixteen plus, cruelty, eighteen plus. And that's the only thing that's eighteen plus on the list, which makes sense, I guess. But all the others seem a little bit lower to me. Mm. Mm. But then the de- developers just went; um, they tweeted back and went, "You surprised? Winky face. We don't mess around." <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they're not ashamed of what they've made. They they know their market. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess. I mean, the thing is, this um, obviously at the big very beginning, that's they're not. The target audience, like the target audience, is not for kids anyway. No, so, no, no. it was know. definitely for adults. So we... in that case, I think it doesn't matter. You are seventeen, or you know that the the rule was seventeen, or sorry, sixteen above, or eighteen above. Obviously, that's a that's a big amount of people. But look at how any other games nowadays that all those they name it of certain age. You know, waiting, but like, you still got loads of younger kid that playing, not obviously not supposed to play the, those games, mm-hmm. but they're still playing. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, like like we can't legally condone. Yeah, of course. People buying. <laughs> I think I think maybe kids, because it does happen. I think that maybe because obviously they, I guess they just don't care, or they they don't really. They know that people would buy it anyway because obviously the hype and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. really. It doesn't matter. Just, I guess. By the way, I just want to add another one. Uh, obviously, the you know the latest game that been pretty hit, the Call of Duty Warzone. Well, that is absolutely. That's- that is absolutely stupid. Have you have do you have I don't know. I have it. I know. Wong, Wong, I know you know about this, but have you seen what the latest latest um, no, no, no. latest, latest update that needs needs to um, that they need to play the game? It all together they need another fifty gig, fifteen gig added onto it, so oh. it ends up being two hundred gig. Wow! To really? play the game, I'm sorry, I don't have two hundred oh. gig on my PS4 anymore. <laughs> do you not have the terabyte? Two hundred gig. <laughs> no, I, I, I've got. I yeah, have yeah. the five hundred gig one. Are you sure? That's literally what it, that's literally what it says. Because that that is bigger than yeah GTA is bigger than GTA, GTA. Uh, Red Death. Um, <laughs> wow. Even even um, I I saw this I saw this I think yesterday. Last of Us Two is going to be minimum is going to be two hundred as well. That's that's literally. That's literally that's literally what, map, it, though, it's all map what, what I read. I read it on somewhere. I forgot where it was. But, but going back, don't don't. We kind of went off 
the topics. <laughs> Call of Duty Warzone, 18. It's 18. That's the A rain rating. Uh, I can... Well, that seems a little high, doesn't it? Yeah, but you're in the war, you're killing people. Well, true. <laughs> <laughs> then let me then let me uh, okay then hold on hold on hold on before we get on to that so are, you're saying that modern warfare is an uh, uh war zone is 18 modern warfare yeah well no, no, no. But, uh, hold on let me the modern warfare, warfare. Yeah, i don't know i don't know modern warfare 2 is 16 modern plus warfare. when it first okay so out. so cod warfare is 16 plus when it first came out 16 plus and now it's 18 plus yeah what's apex then uh Apex is different. It's cartoon type. It's because of it's the, it's really because the graphics. It's less realistic. It's so it's the not. same game. <laughs> Come on, someone tell tell me what's the rate. What's, what's the, the rate difference? Of, what's Giga. the rate of Apex? Apex rating is dun, dun, sixteen. Uh, I've got to be better. Sixteen. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. I guess it. I guess it. It's, it's okay. cartoon, no, no, so it's no, it's no, no, different it. story. <laughs> I don't know. I don't That's know just because. That. 16 plus. 16 plus. Yeah. The 16 plus, but it also has finishing off as well. In yeah, no, no, <laughs> it finishes people no, off. It's fairly no. graphic. As well, the finish yeah. off. The finish off. You never see any like because often it's focus on the the killer. They don't uh, focus no, on. No, no, no. You can't say that anymore. No, if, no, if, if you if if you not. have if you have the new character Reverend. It's mm-hmm. one of its um, finishing move is that it goes behind the, the player that you're killing and it go- stabs straight through his hand so you can see his hand come out on on the other side like from his body. Are you saying that is not 18 plus worth? Are you telling me that is I not 18 plus? He's saying it's not 18 plus because it's cartoon and not real. It's, ex- it's cartoon. <laughs> exactly, and because it's cartoon. So. Yeah, when you play Call of Duty, it's you can't tell blood. the difference. <laughs> they have real blood. <laughs> this is how games get banned. This is how like um, manhunt this is got banned is. because everyone blamed it being the uh, being the cause of violence in. <laughs> no, but in th- that's a bit that's a bit different though. Manhunt was actually a cause of violence though. Yeah, and if they they that game qualifies for cruelty. That, true, that, was, true. that was like a lot of games ain't, but like Manhunt was though. Hence why you don't see any of it on shelves it's or. It's banned. So like they don't even sell it. They're not allowed to sell. It's banned. Yeah, it, yeah. The only way you can, the only way that you can have it is if you already digital. bought it before. It was um, you taken can buy off shelf. Digital, right? I don't think you can. You can't buy it digitally in. You can buy it digitally in markets that it hasn't been banned in. Okay. If that makes sense. But mm. or for eBay, but I don't know if you'll find a copy now. But yeah. Nah, but I, I, I still think there's an element. I, I haven't, to be honest, I haven't played Madden, so I don't know. I just know the story. But I think you can't like sort of say like because you watch Apex and that makes you. <laughs> get a... I'm so angry about that. Sorry. You've got special ability. Just go around you with can, your special ability in real life. You can just go like... to different places. <laughs> I, this is a bit off tangent but it, it reminds me of someone said about um, going around Super Monkey you know, they've got the arrows that lead to one way oh the one way system yeah and they're basically okay. saying play, you know you play too much video games it's like at home mm-hmm. when them arrows are your speed boosts and I'm throwing bananas behind me to slow down other shoppers <laughs> <laughs> so I think Wong is actually correct on saying that it is actually because it's cartoon. That's mm-hmm. why they don't they don't put it as eighteen because there used to be a game. This is when me and Derek used to play this. I don't know Wong, you might have been here for one of the thing, but there used to be a game called Fairy Tale Fighters. Literally, you were you were characters yeah, from literally like, fairy tales. Uh, yeah, you were from the fairy tales. So there was like Robin, uh, not Robin Hood, sorry, uh, uh, what Red Riding Hood, sorry, Red Riding Hood. No. 
What's that girl in a big bad wolf one? Red. Yeah, Red Riding Hood. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah. You're Sorry, right, so I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> and then there was like I don't know. There was like Snow White. So all, mainly all the female characters that there was on the fairy tales and everything like that. And like uh, someone, exactly something, e- something evil has taken over. So they've gone out into the woods to try and solve it. And you pick up like bows and weapons and everything like that. And literally, it got to the point where you can like decap like enemies and everything like that. Oh, okay. And and it's like gory, as in like bloods flying out everywhere. Like you can paint the whole floor, like because there's a bit where like near to the end of the game, they usually do a battle royale kind of thing. Like it's you and your team versus like about a hundred of them. And once you kill one of them, like blood is splat all over the floor. You can oh, it gets to a point where you can okay. paint the whole floor in blood. Yeah. And I'm just thinking. How is that a sixteen? How would decapitate someone? Blood no, everywhere, 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 because it's cartoon. It's a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was it called again? Fairy really tale. Really count. Actually, how do you say? It? I don't think. But if you cast your mind back years and years ago, there's a game on the PS1 called Heart of Darkness. Heart of Darkness was scary, and that, that was quite violent. And I'm sure that was a. Well, I say violent is cartoony violent. Yeah, they involved yeah, yeah. in like being bitten by shadow monsters, like breaking his back. It's quite. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Like like the death scenes in Heart of Darkness are like some of the worst death scenes in gaming history, and there that is no exaggeration. But it's really weird because it's a, it's a weird mix of like fantasy and it, it plays like a or, or like the graphics play like a kids game, but then you've got death scenes like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I do remember it though. That was, that was a real early game on the PS1. And it's easy to die in it as well, so you die constantly. Um, and, and it's, yeah, it's basically a boy trying to find his dog. It's basically, this is basically the predecessor to John Wick. And then. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard though, I remember being hard. But that was good, so I'm just checking what that is, because I don't think it was. It, it's got Raid E for everyone, oh. Grunt. It's a universal. Mm. But then there's a different time right then. There's no benchmark or... Mm, ah, it. It, was rated... night, man. Yeah, it was rated universal and it was some of the worst death scenes I've ever seen and it gave us nightmares as kids. <laughs> We're bound <laughs> to play in it. <laughs> it's CG animation as well, so you get away with it. That's the, that's the hint. CG the animation. Yeah, yeah, CG <laughs> animation. It was, it was advanced for first time. So, just had a check on another one, which is Little Nightmare. I thought about this. Yeah, got Because Little, Little Nightmare was kind of... It's, it's a scary game and everything one. like that. I don't think it's scary at all. But... Uh, well, to most viewers when they're not paying. But then, when they're not paying attention, so it could be scary for Lee as well. <laughs> I mean, it's not scary unless something is going to jump out at me. And no, Sometimes there's some sometimes, jumps in there. Yeah. But... Jump scares are right. I just don't like the creep. Well, like the jump scares is like... Like in the impatient, I was just like that was in front of me. And the- <laughs> no, but, but I was watch- I was watching one of the scenes um, from it, which was um, which I thought, wow, wow, how did they add it into it? And it was a scene where uh, the main but character I- started getting hungry. Yeah, yeah, actually, and he started looking, he- and then one of his friends gave him a sausage, but instead of the sausage, he goes up and eats the friend. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was it, it was really it was really it was, in my opinion it was more creepy than creepy anything. Thing. Like it wasn't scary; it was creepy. It was just like there's a whole sausage in front of you, and you eat your friend. Well, and oh. it's probably why you're called you Little Nightmare. Have a taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, probably. <laughs> that's really weird. I don't know what the rating is. I'm just checking out what the rating is on that one. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, sixteen. Because it's, it's a bit 16. more cartoony, right? Yeah, it's all cartoony. Everything's cartoony. Whenever there's cartoon involved, it's never an 18. So it doesn't matter how creepy, cartoon, and you're safe. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I'm taking from that. You can have the worst game in the world, but as long as it's made like a cartoon, you're fine. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh yeah, that's weird. So, any other rumours or games that might be coming out soon that people are intrigued in? 
I wouldn't say a game that is coming out soon that I'm intrigued in. To be honest, I haven't actually seen a whole list except for like, you know, Last of Us and um there's a well there's a game that I'm intrigued in, this hence why I'm not buying PS uh, well I'm not buying PES or um no, oh, I f- uh, for a second I thought you said you're not buying PlayStation 5. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'll be buying PlayStation 5. <laughs> That's some fight. I mean I am going to the point where my PS4 is gonna blow up soon, so, so you but, my choice. Um, <laughs> but um yeah, so I won't be buying PES and I won't be buying FIFA this year because of um, a certain Japanese game, that, uh, football game that's coming out. So I'll be buying that instead. But I would say a game that I wanted to buy when it was half price and didn't get a chance and regret it. So I think, uh, do you guys have a game where you w- where it was half price or just even when it first came out and you regretted not buying it and wanted to buy it again? And when you wanted to buy it at half price, you didn't get it, and now it's at full price. So um, you're just like, do I buy it? Because it's actually uh, at the moment we're on a uh, we're on um, a budget at the moment because we're on pandemic. Well, technically, some people are, some people ain't. But it gets to a point where you're just like, I really wish I bought it when it first came out, or where um, where you was at, if it was at half price because you knew you were going to get that game. I don't really have any, any like that. I just just. A lot of the games that are like on PS Plus or come that come out on PS Plus, I'm like, yeah, I've already brought them. <laughs> yeah, it works so the opposite for me. Some some of it is. I think for Most me, them, my regret of not buying, which I do want to play right now, but it's too expensive on the store, and obviously I don't want to wait. I kind of want to play it straight away, and that was um, Divination. Divination. Don't know that one. To be honest, was that the. Uh... Uh, uh, not divinations, or divinity origins, or original sins, too. That rings a bell. Yes, it's kind of like, pretty much in a way, it's kind of like Neverwinter. Oh yeah, like, Di- like Except, ne- yeah, yeah, kind of like Diablo, Diablo Neverwinter, Neverwinter kind of thing, where you create your own character and everything like that, and then you go on a journey and like, it gives you like a long list of like what choices would you make when you got to a situation, like what choices would you make, and it could. It, it determines what route you take on your journey. Yeah, yeah. Was it was this the one that we, I think we talked about this one before? Actually. I think we talked yeah, about it, but we just never. Yeah, I think decided we, to get it because I think you're saying that this is the one that is almost like D and D, where you could like, um, yeah, it's half. I think Wong said it actually, and you can like hide in barrels and like. Which one is that? It's a game. Uh, Divinity yeah. Original Sin Two. We had a little talk about this. So go, go on your phone and search it, and then you'll be like, "Ah, oh, okay, yeah, I know what you mean." Yeah, I, th- I think that's the one. I think it is the same one that one was talking about. You can like hide in barrels and sneak past enemies, and you can, you can actually do like so many make so many different choices in it. Yeah, it seems like something that I will recommend to you guys. Something that I would like. It's something you have recommended to us, and I think it's yeah. on video somewhere. <laughs> it's in more likely list. to. No, it's hundred percent on video. I just don't know where. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I haven't really had any. Okay. I see. Look, I've sent you a link, Wong. Just press yeah. on it, and then you'll know which one. You'll be like, ah, okay, yeah, I did talk about this game with you guys. We're so technically no, advanced. No, actually, not this one. I oh, but it was oh, something similar there, was it? Not this one. Ah, oh, okay. What, what I, haven't, I haven't... I know this game. Yeah, I really want to get it, but it's actually quite pricey on store at the moment, so it's I don't like, really want It's only that. £17. That's not. It's it's Boyfriend. yeah. If if you buy it from Biggie, okay, but if you buy it on the... if you buy it on store, it's fifty bucks. Online, yeah, it's online. It's different. So I do want to play this game. It's yeah, probably a good. regret I didn't because this would be a really good game too. The game yeah. I really want to play. Um, well, it, it's not out yet, but it will be coming out. Or a game that's <laughs> coming out is Breath of the Wild Two. It's the only sequel game to a Zelda game. <laughs> But I really hope we get to play as Zelda, which is a massive shake-up for the series and a very controversial opinion. So I've insulted two groups of fans today. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm hoping that's that's the game I really want to see, and I really want Zelda to be playable in it. Not by, like by, by the way, Santa, Zelda's the girl. <laughs> Just... Why are you telling me that? I know who Zelda is. If Zelda's you, mine. If you don't know that, then... You don't deserve to be on a game in general. <laughs> I mean, everyone knows who Zelda is. Zelda's Grant's favourite character. 
on Smash Brothers, yeah. On Smash Brothers, yeah, because Grand Lake just destroys people with Smash Brothers. <laughs> just spam the fireballs. <laughs> But I, I don't know you could play it as her though. I don't know if you can. Oh, you can, oh sorry. I, yeah, but I, I just got the, can. I got the impression that, based on the cutscenes and the and the thing that they they what well, E three leaked it, so it's not it's not a, a leak, it's a unofficial teaser trailer basically. Mm-hmm. A, official unofficial teaser teaser trailer. <laughs> and in it, it gets the impression that Link gets kidnapped or taken by some shadow monster, presumably Ganon. And then it gives the impression that you get to play as Zelda for at least a portion of the game, whether that's true or not, or whether that's just a misleading teaser. Hmm. I have to, by the way, I have to correct I, what I said before. I was wrong. Um, I was mentioning Last of Us minimum minimum sizes, like yeah. Last of Us Two. It's not two hundred. It's hundred. Ah, okay. It's still big though, it's still 100 That's gigabytes massive. is still pretty huge. Yeah, well consider it's not an uh, open, well I assume it's not an open world. I think uh, compared yeah, to like it, GTA. It wouldn't, it no, wouldn't no, be no. an open world, if anything, no. if anything it would be the multiplayer part which would make so it. So in that case that is massive, I mean like you know, it's... compared to uh, you know, GTA and Red Dead 2, yeah. that they are Obviously, over a hundred, which is totally makes sense as an open world with like you know, amazing graphics and stuff. So, if like a sleep, I would say sim semi over like open world. As yeah, a, yeah, like, like do you not agree? Massive levels, like like it's not open world as such. You have like yeah. sections of bits to explore, and in in them sections, there's a lot to do in it or a lot of detail. So I get what you mean. Yeah. It's it's on two discs apparently, which is crazy. Really? Yeah, yeah, because they can't fit a hundred. So if you buy it like, not digitally. You know, but you say that actually that's true. Don't really matter for me though, does it? I don't buy discs anymore. So. No, no, most people are digital, so as long as they got space. But then there's still a lot of space to clear out, isn't it? (laughs) So when Last of Us Two comes out, that means that I have to delete GTA then. Well, you need to delete everything, mate. You need to delete a lot more. <laughs> oh, your PS4. You don't have it. Oh, God knows what you don't have it. <laughs> Will your PS4 last till June? Is that when it's out? June? Uh, no, I'm not even sure anymore. I don't even know when my PS4 is going to last. No, no, no. Maybe next. Maybe it'll die tomorrow. You never know. It's, it might be May, end of May, May the 29th, I think. It's either May the 29th or June the 21st, and I, I know they keep changing the dates. So it's one of the two. More likely. Those two. Did you see the leak about the GTA 6 map? I yes. Seen the map. Yes, I did. Oh, about the size and stuff. Penny, where is it? Is that in London? It, it's, well, it's based on London. Yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah, no, it's released. It's released. That's, um, Whether it's true or not, I don't be, know. But... That would be good. That would be amazing. They reckon it's huge. They've kind of done it in like they made it in Ireland, uh, but they've kind of done it in like reverse Britain, cross of Italy. <laughs> it's, it's the only way I can describe it. It's like a a boot. Do you need some of a niche out. And stuff. <laughs> it's, it's too boring just going through the city. Use some country size. Yeah, but it looks massive though. Like, like it, it's crazy. I don't know how true it is, but it does look huge. And I don't know whether they're fan made or not. That is true. Fans do like to make stuff up nowadays. Then when you get the real game, they're just like, really? Whatever. But that's like um. What was it last year? End start end of last year. They that Australian fan released the um, Pokemon Australia. <laughs> <And> people, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was yeah. so it was so good. People thought it was a genuine leak. When and the fan were always saying, "No, it's not a leak. This is just fan made." But everyone's like, "No, nah, it's too good. It's got to be a leak." 
Yeah, but it was it was that because they made it so good. <laughs> it was so amazing. I'd, I'd buy that again to be honest. Did it come out? Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what they were called? No. The they got, he made it called so they was Pokemon one yay. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one is the Lee. You have to say this one, Pokemon. No. Nice. Yay! <laughs> that was so funny that day. <laughs> I'm known for my terrible Australian accent. <laughs> me and Wong was just sitting there. Me and Wong was just sitting there. I think we were even about to go out, weren't we? And we were just sitting there. And then <laughs> came... <laughs> That's become an inside joke now from like years. <laughs> just uh... that was that was so funny. We were just, me and Wong were just sitting down, like, we were just like okay, go on then, Lee. And then, like, Lee got out. <laughs> and me and Wong looked at each other like, like there was a there was complete silence. I think Grant was getting ready or something like that, and then like. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, like me and Wong just sat there and looked at each other. We were just like, I "Was like, where does that come from?" <laughs> what? The hell? Like there was complete silence in the room. There's just it? silence. It was, it was so just funny. It, she look, it basically like you slow motion turned to each other, looked in each other's eyes, turned back to me, and just burst out laughing. And then we were laughing for a good like we were late going out because you just couldn't get off the floor from laughing too much. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so funny. <laughs> Pokemon, yeah, Pokemon, nah. If that's not a leak, as it is, not a leak, um, fake. Bazaar and Shazza is the <laughs> the main characters. But actually, looked it, I would generally buy it if it was. They should definitely, well, Game Freak should definitely hire that that person. On that note, I think we're reaching close to reaching the hour. Um, so we'll leave this episode here does anyone have any good topics for next week mm. can't think of any right now no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah no, no, no straight to well, our head right well now. this was awkward <laughs> in that case we'll have a, a nice surprise topic um, when we figure one out <laughs> next week <laughs> or any human and we've all been trapped indoors for so long that we're just going a bit uh, stir crazy. That's how it is. So anyway, guys, hopefully you're in the series. Leave a like, subscribe. If you are subscribed, click the bell button to get notified of upcoming videos. Keep up to date on our Facebook and Twitter pages, and we'll have some new videos coming out for you soon. See you next okay. time. Take See you later. Stay safe, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.